Okay, on the stretch run of our demos, we're gonna focus on industrial and embedded. And one of the keys to our success in this area has been in prototyping, rapid prototyping. And of course, the key to that is the LabVIEW, the productivity of the LabVIEW graphical programming environment, combined with modular high-performance I.O. so you can have flexibility. We also have been working on increasing the number of form factors and cost points so that you have more deployment options at your disposal. In fact, last year at NI Week, we unveiled the Rio deployment curve, as you can see here, which consists of high-performance systems in the upper left corner and scaling down in performance and size and cost so that you can achieve ever higher deployment options. In fact, in November of 2007, we introduced the Compact Rio integrated system, which took the modular controller, integrated it with the FPGA backplane in a way that saves costs for you and, and gave another form factor option. Well, right now, I'd like to see if we can put another point on that Rio deployment curve. And to do that, I'd like to invite up Compact Rio project manager, Stephen Romero. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Tim. You know, majority of embedded applications require products with a low price as well as a small form factor. So in order to meet these customer needs, we've been working on some new real products for embedded applications. Now, not even a new MacBook Air can fit in an envelope that small. No, Tim, actually, it's not a MacBook Air. You see, we've been working on shrinking the size of Compact Rio for our embedded applications. What I have in this envelope is the power of Compact Rio and a much thinner form factor. In fact, this week, I'm proud to announce we are releasing a new platform of embedded hardware called NI Single Board Rio. <laughs> we heard something. Now, each single board Rio device has an onboard real time processor, a reconfigurable FPGA, an integrated I.O., giving embedded customers the power of Compact Rio on a single board. In this platform, we have eight single board Rio devices. In addition to the real-time processor and FPGA, we've added the circuitry from C-Series modules, giving embedded customers a complete I.O. solution. We've also included three expansion connectors where customers can include, can add any of the more than 60 available C-Series modules to their system. Now, Tim, rather than just showing you in the audience new single-board real devices, I wanted to show you an innovative customer application. So to do this, help me welcome to the stage a lead engineer from FedEx, Mr. Bruce Pop and the president of Ventura Aerospace, Mr. Jeremy Snow. Stephen, thank you. At Federal Express, keeping your packages safe is our number one priority. We intend to work very hard in the future to continue to do that. Clear? I got a click there for you. What you see uh, on the screen here are two very shocking pictures. These aircraft were totally destroyed by fires that originated in the upper deck freight of these aircraft. During extensive testing that we did, utilizing the FAA standard fire, we discovered two shocking things. The first was that the standard cargo container used in the industry failed in only 60 seconds at the cargo door. We then replaced this cargo door with a fireproof version and found that the cargo container failed structurally in only 17 minutes. Federal Express is an international operator, and as such, we fly long distances over the ocean. So it would be impossible to try to land that airplane within 17 minutes on a four-hour flight. The result would be the loss of the packages, the aircraft, and possibly even the crew. We have worked uh, with uh, Ventura Aerospace to develop a remarkable fire suppression system that we have demonstrated to the FAA in witness test that is effective at suppressing or extinguishing fires and preventing their reignition. Halon, which is a material that has been dubbed as a ozone depleter, is a, is a product that has been banned by the 1994 Montreal Protocol. And also, this material is contraindicated for certain types of metal fires. 
So this has forced us to develop a new cargo agent, and this agent is supplied to us by the Ansel Company and has been dubbed Cargo Foam. Can we go back one slide, please? Ah, the image that you see in front of you here is a lithium battery fire that was, or a suspected lithium battery fire on one of the uh, two airplanes that I showed you. The system that I've described to you would effectively deal with this kind of a fire as well. Very difficult fire because it's a class B fire. Okay? Um, the system that I've described to you here is a remarkable improvement over every other system that's ever been developed for airplanes. And the reason that it's remarkable is because it's the first system that's ever been developed for an airplane. And what I'm going to show you now is the effect of the uh, halon when it attempted to be used on a class D fire, which is a metal fire. In this case, we have a gumdrop-sized gum piece of sodium, which was set ablaze. And the application of halon, as you can see, is contraindicated for this type of fire. Tim, I'm happy to report to you that Federal Express has developed a new uh, agent that uh, the cargo foam, and this agent is not only effective on this kind of a fire, but is environmentally friendly, safe, non-toxic. In fact, we have a green solution to protecting your freight, our aircraft, and crews. <laughs> well, green is good. So how's single board Rio being used in the application? I'll let Jeremy answer that. Thanks, Bruce. Tim? OK, as, Fred, um, as Bruce mentioned, um, Ventura Aerospace and FedEx have been working together to develop a more effective and intelligent fire suppression system for freighter aircraft. Um, one of the things that we've done here is to utilize single board reel because of the reliability of your reel products and the small form factor of your reel products. So we moved into single board reel uh, to become an integral part of our control system for fire suppression systems. Um, to show you how we're using single board Rio, we've brought a control system here, and I think we're utilizing single board Rio in a rather unique way. We have two devices that use single board Rio. We have a fire control hub and a fire control unit, as well as a NI touch panel. The fire control hub is the center of the, of the control system. It contains a single board Rio, a power supply, our own signal conditioning daughter board, and an ethernet switch. The fire control hub is responsible for checking all safety interlocks, distributing power and communication to each of the fire control units. The fire control unit also contains a single board Rio and our own daughter board, brings in temperature from 16 infrared sensors, processes that data, and records it. So in an aircraft, you have an array of containers. Take an MD-11, for example. You have 14 rows of containers, and every row has its own fire control unit. So for an MD-11, we have a total of 15 single board Rios. So the fire control hub and the fire control unit have been designed from the ground up to be aircraft and location independent. Essentially what that means is when they get installed into the airplane, they self-identify to the aircraft type and to the location in the aircraft. It's the flexibility of the single board reel that allows us to create a control system that we can integrate across an entire fleet of aircraft. So therefore what we have is 15 single board reels networked together to create a control system that monitors temperature, controls the suppression system, and injects cargo foam into the container in the event of a fire being detected. Okay, so how long did it take you to design, deploy, and uh, design, prototype, and deploy the system? Well, we, we started off with LabVIEW and developed on Compact Rio and made a uh, move to a final deploy solution using single board Rio all in under a year. The fact that NI provides both the hardware and the software to create and deploy these embedded solutions was crucial for us. Uh, we're quite sure that we wouldn't have been able to meet our aggressive schedule and design goals without these great NI tools. Thanks, Bruce, Jeremy, and Stephen. Thank you, Tim.